Good evening. Here's a certain Mr. Angel. Hello. We are we are currently streaming. That looks really dodgy. Streaming streaming out into the uh, the ocean. Um, <laughs> yes, today we are doing the fishing boat. Is it? Is that what it's called? This is the fishing boat. Yes. The indeed. fishing boat. The yes. mighty pelican. Yeah. This is this is Tony's game. I've joined, and we are progressing him through the full story because he's uh, slack and lag behind. Um, <coughs> uh, uh, yeah, slack, very slack, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, assisting him to get through all of this. I will once again be doing my parkour tricks, uh, as you're uh, probably already witnessing. He loves his parkour tricks. <laughs> la 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 Plain playing some tricks yes so yeah we'll be sort of uh once again talking shit as we usually do yes 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 you know that's that kind of that goes with the territory i think right yeah how you been i have been very very good uh this evening i'm not streaming simply because i thought about it and i couldn't be bothered well that's that's a good reason to not you know, Being yeah. bothered is one of the most important like, things if you're streaming. Was it like um, um, it's Deadpool, isn't it? Maximum yeah, effort. You, but I don't <laughs> want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because the um, uh, the long suffering Mrs. Angel, she's out at uh, choir practice, and uh, I thought I'd um. Uh, Get some time in on the boat, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, you're fishing. <laughs> as you as you can see, I've been I've been busy. Busy, yeah. Considering I only started it twenty five minutes ago. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Ago. Not too shabby. Shabby, 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 shabby. And I've bought the uh, I've bought the trident. Um, oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Became available. The, the, yeah, the nozzle. Yeah, it's it's, it's now available. You are nozzle. Fine, that's the word. That's the one. Naval. The the, the naval. Yes, the naval. Yes. I have a trident. I have a trident naval. Yes. Come on, you swine! This I've 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 found a stubborn bit. Really, it's all right. I've sorted it. Everything's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine here. How are you doing? We're all fine here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is worrying when one person finishes the other person's brain thoughts or brain farts, in my particular case. Well, it's, it's generally this case with me and Shell that you know we actually start and finish each other's thoughts at the same time. It's, it's yeah. kind of kind of unnerving. Pretty much been yeah. that way since day one when we first met. You know what I mean? Fifteen, fifteen yeah. years ago. Yeah. It's yeah. It's, it's kind of worrying when you meet someone who's when when you're you know mentally disturbed and you meet someone as equally mentally disturbed as you are. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And anyone who thinks I'm not mentally yeah. disturbed, watch one of our riff tracks videos. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, and, every, and you'll notice everybody's telling me off. So, hey, <laughs> oh, hey look at me. Fuck's sake, Tony. Jesus me. Christ. The part of my brain. <laughs> yeah. Conscience mode is engaged. Yeah, yeah. Anyone who hasn't seen any of our Rift Tracks videos, be prepared. They're not for the faint hearted. Yeah. Yeah, wear two pairs of pants just in case. Yeah, we, 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 we go extreme. Nothing intended to harm or, you know, be offensive, like I say. I mean, some people might take offence if they're, uh, you know, that way inclined, but, you know, never any in, uh, offence intended to anyone, but, oh my God, it goes flaming. Whew, sometimes. Yeah. Well, we, very we, we have, we, we, you know, we do it, we, we do everything with no malintent at all. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. But... But we don't pull any punches. Yeah, yeah. But because but this last week, I, did, I don't remember any asthma attacks last week. No, that's a good sign. Yeah, I think that's the first time in a, in a few weeks. 
I mean, it's it's funny. We had we had lots of laughs. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think I don't recall anyone anyone actually sort of almost dying of laughter last time. <laughs> Whether that's an improvement yeah. or not, I'm not sure. But then, but then again, Michelle <laughs> was not well no. that week at all, was she? Was she? She ended up getting the paramedics out for her, didn't she? Shell? Yeah. What? I mean, hey? not, not last week. Not last week. I'm talking about a few weeks ago. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You thought I was telling you something that you didn't. I was going to say, no. what, 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 going, what happened? Minute. What happened? What yeah. happened? Where, where, how, what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, because last, last week uh, it was like uh, just the day before she had to sort of uh, travel up country unexpectedly. Aye. We won't go any further into that, but yeah, yeah. Aye, up country. Up country. <laughs> yeah, up country. Ironically, to see Sully. Yeah, that was getting a bit oh, fucking yeah. tense towards the end of that, wasn't it? <laughs> it was just a little bit, but I think he was enjoying it a little bit. He was much, he was enjoying it. Shell Shell wasn't taking it personally. I don't think it's just like it was just like, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to mess with her. <laughs> you might be a you might be an MMA fighter, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she no. she knows where the off off button is. <laughs> And she knows oh. how to press it. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Anchor oh. the way. It's me, Doctor. I'm cleaning me poor owls. Me poor what? Me poor owls. <laughs> yes. So you received the, uh, the parcel then? I certainly did. Thank you very much. No problem. You're very, you're very kind. I, I am, I am um, a kind. Yes, we all are a kind. Yeah. You're just a very kind kind. Yeah, well, actually, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy those anyway. As I said, Band of Brothers obviously oh, was one yes. I was like, Band of Brothers was one I was crying about the other. Was it the last stream we did of this? It it's, was uh, it was on the subway, wasn't it? Yeah, it's probably one so of the most been... probably one of the most accurate and say detailed and you know quite heart rending at some point um, uh, telling of like World War Two like stories mm -hmm. and you know I love I love sort of um, that sort of era. It's probably like helped a lot by um, me sort of you know playing Battlefield 1942 way back when, and of course you know that sort of uh, that that game sort of. Uh, got me sort of I suppose probably really into sort of you know watching stuff and finding out more about it. I like the film A Bridge Too Far but it's very sort of like it, it, it's, camp. Um, it, goes, it, it goes a little bit too far? It doesn't necessarily go a little bit too far. They did go a little bit too far. Yeah. A bridge too far yeah. in fact. But it very much tally ho what what pip pip I say jolly jolly and it's like jolly, jolly. I don't think they were sort of you know sort of you know, like it's, it's it's an enjoyable film, and obviously it tells the story of what you know, one of the missions was, you know, Operation Market Garden. But I don't think it's an entirely faithful retelling of what happened. Whereas, oh, um, no. whereas uh, you know, this, like I say, this is a uh, based on a book by was it Stephen Ambrose, something like that. Um, yeah, I think sounds about right. And. Uh, he had obviously sort of interviewed the actual, ah, shit, the actual um, members of Easy Company. He from... interviewed the R shit. The R shit. The R shit. Yeah. The R shit. The R shit. He was one of the Germans. He has entirely, <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm getting squirrely here. Sorry. Um... <laughs> yeah. But he, uh, he sort of you know, wrote it based on the, uh, the the stories from you know people in Easy Company, and when they were making it, they were actually in communication with the remaining surviving members of this group. They must have been. I mean, yeah. I mean, you wouldn't want to fuck with these guys when they were in their prime because, like, they went oh, through all that. No. They went through all this fucking shit. They must have been 
fucking solid as fucking rocks, you know what I mean? But I, I would definitely recommend watching that when you get a chance. The episodes, I think, are about an hour long each. Uh-huh. Um, but Don't worry, I, I will. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I absolutely will. Um, what else was in there? There was Naked Gun, wasn't there? There was Police Squad. Police yeah. Squad, that was it. So yeah, see, I'm doing it now. <laughs> Getting Police Squad and Naked Gun mixed up. Yeah, Police Squad. Um, very silly. Um, when you uh, see the first episode of that, you'll um, you'll probably finally understand the reference I made when we were last doing um, L.A. Noire. Where okay. I said where I said I was actually like, you know, in the Police Squad, it's like shootout. In the game, unfortunately, they did that yeah, that shootout. They did that again. Um, the, you were talking about. They did it in one of the Naked Gun movies. Uh, I, I wasn't sure if they did. I'm or not, sure yeah. they did. Where they're literally sure. about, where they're literally about two feet apart, shooting at each other from behind a bin and a flaming yes. bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. But yeah, no, I was like, <laughs> it was just when I, when I was taking on that fucking guy in that famous like side mission, it's like, choo choo choo, like, fucking hell, we're each we're either side of the same fucking car. <laughs> Yes. Unfortunately, the video for that it, um, became like a slideshow. Um, it was like Very showing strange. they were showing like one frame every twenty seconds or something like that towards the end of that. Did you try it started it online? Bit... On your what? On my on my on my vo well, did I? I don't know if you streamed it. Did I, stream I don't think it as I don't well? think you did. I don't think uh, so. Yeah. I've come up. With, with the uh, the thing where we come up with you know something for for the other people to watch, mm. I've come up with a name for it. What's that? I haven't seen it in ages. Or at all, in fact. Or at all, exactly. But I haven't seen it. Well, it's something you haven't seen in ages, and you're recommending it. Mm. So you can say, oh, well, I haven't well, you seen say, it in ages. You say that, but Band of Brothers I watched before Christmas. I, yeah. I watch that quite often because, it's like, so, you know, every well, now and now I've been through. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it, but, it is know, just that good. Know, for the for the device, you know. Yeah, yeah. For the, for the use yeah. of for the use yeah. of, you know, you know, I understand for the use of. Or or given my parkour antics in this, we could just call it "Watch This." One of these days he will oh, fall dear. and break an ankle. Not necessarily his own, but someone's. Yeah. Mm hmm But yeah, so yeah, uh, there was that one and um the other one was Heroes Season One, wasn't it? It was indeed, yes. Yeah. I haven't had a chance to check all of the discs. The naked gun one uh, sorry, the police god one does appear to be working perfectly. I, I watched the first episode and the last episode of that one, so the disc does seem to be so sort of, like fine as far as I can tell. The other ones I didn't get a chance to really check, but I thought it's I'd get you. It's not a problem. I thought I'd get you the if nice. Um, the, yeah. yeah. I thought I'd get you the nice metal case um, Band of Brothers, like my own one. Thank you. Because there are some which got like a cardboard case, and it's like you know the cardboard case, is like, mm. but you know metal case, metal case, yeah. it's metal, mm -hmm. just so metal. Yeah. It's metal. So metal. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But, um, thinking of heroes, that takes me back to a story. Um, there it was. It was one of the conventions in London. It wasn't. Um, I think it was Earl's Court, I believe. An unconvention. It was being being held in being held in Earl's Court. Mm. Um, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Wasn't the ideal home exhibition. Um, <laughs> But one of the guests that was signing signing there was uh, is it I'm going to get her name wrong Juliet Pantioli the, the cheerleader in Heroes. oh Hayden Panettiere that's the one yeah yeah that's her I thought you were, I thought you were talking about Joe Pantoliano for a second there no no not it's like, but wow she's bald no no sorry. Uh, no, yeah, no. Hayden Hayden Panettiere. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, that's the one. Hay, Hayden Panettiere, yeah. Oh, yeah, or something. You like. should you should have seen her. Well, one you should have seen the size of the queue. Mm, I can imagine. And at the at the beginning of the of the day, she was a, hi, how are you? How are you doing? Oh, what's your name? Yeah, do you want 
but you start to enter the deep. And by the end of the evening, it, it was it was just like, darn it, fuck off, or something similar. Mm. She, okay. she she actually looked as though she'd had all of her um, her will to live mm. had been pushed out the end of the pen that she was signing with. Yeah, well, I, th I think a lot of the um, the handlers oh. obviously the handlers put a lot of pressure on them as well. So they can get through it quickly because yeah, they make because yeah. they make money off every signature they get as well. You know what I mean? So obviously they're keen to get right. as many people through as they fucking can. But it's like a yeah, it's like I say, it's a bit shit for for them in some regards because you can't keep up that level. I mean, I I work eight hour shifts at a supermarket, and even you know, didn't, if, if customers were constantly fucking going, oh hi, it's like oh for fuck's sake, can no one look for anything? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like yeah. it's over there. Yeah, you, know, you can't you can't maintain you can't maintain that level when talking to idiots for fucking eight uh, six eight hours or whatever however long they're they're working for at a time. Yeah, I, like I say, people say oh, I had a really bad experience with this. They said they're a real fucking bitch or an arsehole. I was like, okay, yeah, it's fine. They may have been on the occasion. What did you actually say to them? You know what I mean? How was your approach to them? Yeah. Were, were you going out and saying, "Oh, you need to fucking do this"? Were you entitled, saying, "Oh, you know, I I paid for this. You know, you fucking got to do this." I mean, you know, were your demands or requests reasonable or unreasonable? Is probably more more to obviously put a point on it. But, you know, there are two sides to every story, basically. Actually, some people, like I say, they legitimately get like you know, it's like fobbed off a little bit purely because, as you there say, are three, there exhaustion. Are three sides to every story. Yeah, like I say, I mean, yours, it, mine, and the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I say. The, the, Exhaustion is going to be a factor, obviously, in these sort of things. Because, like I say, I mean, when when people say, "Oh, I saw this person out and about on the street," it's like, "Oh, they just told me to fuck off." It's like, were they with their family? Were they, you know, did they ever sign up saying, "Hmm, please come and talk to me," because you know, you've seen me on TV and now you they even feel like I have to talk to you and everyone else who comes up to me when I'm in public trying to say, you know, just mind my own business. I mean, some some are going to be so like, fine, and obviously you go, oh, right, yeah, yeah, how are you, blah 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 blah. Others are going to be like, like I, I get this all the fucking time. I can't go out the house without people fucking swarming me. It can't be pleasant. No, it can't at all. So you know, I've I've got a lot of like you know give and take. When you hear a nice story, it's like okay, it's really nice to hear you know good stories and positive stories about celebs. When I hear the negative ones, it's like everyone has a bad day. Everyone has a bad day. Everyone has time where they want to be. Left alone. I mean, in this day and age, depression is rife. I mean, I'd be amazed if there are very many people that don't have depression to some level. It's just how well how well people actually like, you know hide it or you know or the like. Because uh, how, well how well medicated they are. Oh, well medicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How well the medication actually suits them and their personal biology and shit like that. Because. Uh, what works for one doesn't necessarily work for another. Oh no, absolutely. Um, otherwise, otherwise there'd be you know, the, um, so uh, the late great Rick Mile. Yeah. Um, he he used to. Um, you could stop him anywhere. He do he do a, a signature for you. And you ask for a photo. He'd say no problem. You stand there, and he'd push your back up back your back up against the wall. Mm. He'd crouch down in front of you as if he was sucking your. <laughs> and they get, we'll get somebody else to take the photo from behind. <laughs> oh god, yeah. But yeah, like I said, I mean, even, even he, I'm sure, would have had like days where we were just like, oh fuck's sake, I just need to like you know hide, because you've got to get away yeah. from it. You can't have it. You can't be full on all the fucking time. Oh, the exhaustion no, no. sets in so much when you're, uh, you know, when you have to do that. I mean, look at poor Robin Williams. I mean, fucking hell. He was such oh, a character, such a card, and such a genuine person. And, uh, you know. Yeah. yeah. Fucking brutal. Unfortunately, some of that was. Um, um, some of it was chemical induced, and mm. unfortunately, some of it was biological. He was, yeah. you know. He was. Um, sort of just genetically. Um, susceptible to it yeah, yeah so whenever he got depressed he got really depressed yep but um the highs are real highs the lows are real lows there was and, 
another another combo con. Um, yeah, we went to a few. I've um, I've only been to one, and that was with you. This is going to be my second. <laughs> congratulations! Your count your count is, is going to double. It's <laughs> not a bad thing. Double in one um, turn, yeah. Double, 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 um, double. There was, yes, indeed. Talking of like sort of um, people like handlers and agents pushing pushing stars along. Um, the long suffering Mrs. Angel uh, mm. decided it would be a good idea to get something signed by Patrick Stewart. Right. Yeah. And everybody that was there with X Men and all the rest of it. And you know, X Men and Star Trek, and and um, it was just like uh, 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 copy of Dune. Uh, 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 just he he was uh, he was kind of he was on automatic pilot. Mm. And then um, Mrs Angel brought along a copy of I Claudius. Oh, okay. I was, I was thinking Dune, but yeah, okay. Yeah, no, no I Claudius because she wanted something that was. Gonna unusual stand out because yeah, bit of a standout, and also because it creates a little bit of um, conversation between the, mm. the person signing and the person getting the thing signed. Yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, um, like um, Patrick Stewart saw it and his eyes sort of lit up. Mm. He's like, "Oh, you you sat there and watched this?" She goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." Yeah, and the guy behind her was like, "Come on, come on, come move on, on, move on, move on." Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's what they're like. I mean, not not all of them. Don't get me wrong, but actually, in general, I think they're something you know, just encourage, like push them as quickly and fast as possible. And yeah, I don't think that's like the, the way to be because you, you're there to so obviously be there for your fans. When you're like, having to say like, you know, push your fans through because someone behind you is like you know pulling your strings. Yeah, it's not fun. I get all of this up here? No, I didn't. No, I, didn't. I tried to be thorough up there. Well. I always try. Then five minutes later, I try again. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead. You try again. All I usually end up doing is I'll go over it and then I end up just going over it again, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just in case. Yep. Belt and buckles and all that jazz. Giggity giggity. You know. And the and collar and cuffs and all that all all that jazz. All that stuff. Or is that something else? Giggity giggity. <laughs> ah, Sid James is back. <laughs> <laughs> Raw. That, gra that, gravi that gravitated into Skeletor for a minute there. Yeah, hey, man. Yeah, see? Yeah. Gravitate. Gravity. Go the Clean, you oh, yeah. bastard thing. There was, um, there was something that I meant to bring up, and um, I decided it was probably a good idea mm. to do it now because basically, previously I'd forgotten. That's, that's a good time to remember something. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because I had forgotten. I didn't want to forget, so I made sure I didn't forget by forgetting. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Um, Lloyd Grossman. Mm -hmm. Lloyd Grossman. Grossman. Have you heard? I think I th they, they're either using an AI or they're using somebody, a voiceover actor's like scene dog to do mm -hmm. to do like the the voice for Lloyd Grossman because it doesn't sound anything like Lloyd Grossman. You'd you say that, but um, and actually made it sound like it. You say that, but Dominic Monaghan, yeah, yeah. You know who he is, Lord of Rings, Hobbit. I do, I do, yeah, yeah. I, 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 In I, Lost, 
When ha have you had any recent interviews with him? No. Go on YouTube now. Uh, look up. No. Um, out, actually, I'll try and find the video and I'll send you a link. One moment. Uh, right, one moment. Right. What's wrong with Dom Doesn't sound like Lloyd Grossman, does it? No, not quite. Is it that one? I think it might be that one. I hate to say it, but the uh, the old girl's underside is very barnacly. Connection with server timed up. Did it really? Did it really do that? Did it? Chat. What the server timed out on on the game? No, 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 no. On on YouTube, while I was trying to say collect the link, right? I've sent you the link to the video. I'll tell you what I will do, is I will stop what I'm doing once I finish washing this bit, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I will then play it, and um, I will comment accordingly. 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 I nearly bought myself a ukulele today. I thought you said you nearly called yourself a ukulele. I now identify as a ukulele. Ding 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 want to be called Tony or Dave I would like to be addressed as a chip as a Chippendale side dress <laughs> yeah right. let's have a look at this shall we let's see what they doing yeah the YouTube video is a interview with Billy Boyd and Dominic Monaghan Talk about nonsense, really. Mm. Yeah. You hear it, it just sounds so different. Yeah, it sounds lovely. Sounds really like this. Hello. Uh, take my mother in law. Take my mother in law, please. I should be on a register. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it does sound it does sound so odd hearing it like that. And yeah, when I first heard it I thought, Oh god, is this is he you know, has he, has he been ill or something like that, or has he had to have anything removed? But no, apparently that's just how his voice has gone. It's like, fair enough, okay, like I said, as long as you're okay, mate, you know what I mean? But, yeah, yeah. it's 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 almost unrecognisable from what you you heard in The Lord of the Rings. Uh, Billy Boyd, uh, he was, he did a Q&A. Mm. Um, and it got to a point where basically he ended up shouting 
random things at the audience. Like, mm. so it was kind of it was kind of Lord of the Rings Jeopardy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't get on the table That's and sing though. No, he didn't. It wasn't the Green Dragon. <laughs> um, no, like, like um, um, what's the name of the King of Horses? Shadowfax. Yay! Nice little duck. It wasn't a hard one, was it? No, but like I say, I mean, I, I think email is much faster now. Shadow email. <laughs> <laughs> zero, zero. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm Shadow Email. I'm the upgrade. Talking about things being faster. May I take this? Um, take you may this, have this uh, time, yes. Stream down um, a much darker road. I mean, you know, I've turned the lights off already. Uh, just for dramatic effect, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you've got soft up lighting on? Yeah. <laughs> Everything's soft. Ooh. Sorry, what? <laughs> I have that effect on everybody, don't worry. <laughs> it's, it's gone completely limp. <laughs> no, we're not doing riff tracks. We're not doing riff tracks. We're not doing riff tracks. <laughs> well, let me. Um, let me. I'm going to take you back a few years. Oh, no. I don't want to go back to 2020. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Not going back to 2020. I refuse. Right, my dad. Yeah. Um, when he when he when he was working, he's mm. retired now, obviously. Um, at one point, for about 30 years, he ran his own professional photography business. Mm. And as a result, he ended up being friends with a lot of other photographers, be they professional or anything else mm. so there used to be a group at the local camera club and I will not say what camera club it was to save their blushes but they were colloquially known as the Dirty Mac group oh dear the Dirty Mackerels the Dirty Mackerels because um, they are Subject matter was front windows a little bit too much razzle. They were trying to be all penthouse mm. and you know tasteful, but it kind of came out a little bit too razzle. I know because I had to um, uh, I had to edit some things out of a photograph of a young lady that she didn't want hanging out. But anyway, your earbuds. Um, no. Not earbuds. Let's, let's, leave, let's leave that part of it there. But a member of the Dirty Mac Brigade... It, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't the beads, was it? Please tell me it wasn't the no. beads. No. <laughs> uh, right, a member of the Dirty Mac Brigade um, basically said, do we know anybody that can do IT maintenance? And of course word got passed down the line and a few people uh, were asked if they wanted to do it and for some reason they couldn't so I was asked oh, okay fine I'll you know my standard rate I'll come along I'll have a look what the problem is see if I can work it out and I was chatting to this uh, this chap and uh, I said so oh, what's your interest he said I take pictures of model trains Right. Okay. Fair enough. Um, now this this was before the wide adoption of broadband. Okay. Mm -hmm. This was the time of dial-up. And remembering the how time of dial-up. Yeah. Well, remembering how um, how expensive dial-up was at one point. Mm -hmm. This chap was um, he was in a residential house. He had four computers set up on his little network, mm -hmm. and he he was linked to the internet through something called an ISDN link. Right, Not yeah. just one, but 
two of them. Jesus. Two I two ISDN links, business links coming into a residential house. At that point I remember they were like the my, dream back in the day. They were. He yeah. had two ISDN lines. And basically what he said he used to do was download pictures of model trains. Model trains. Mo model something, I'm sure. Uh, um, maybe um, junior trains. Oh dear. Yeah. He Th Thomas. Five years. Five years. Yep. Too right. Good. Or spre spreading um, that filth around. Fuck it so, out. And, uh, and um, the police asked me if I would like to make a statement, and I said no, mm. because I did not want to get tarred with that brush. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bastard. Fuck Sorry. It out. Anyway. Anyway, the strange things that I've done in my time. Bloody hell. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, things I've done in my time. What's the weirdest job you've ever had? The strangest job you've ever had? And don't say your current one. Um. I mean, I've not really had any really, really outlandish ones. But one of the more interesting ones, one of the more intriguing ones, I suppose, was probably when I was still at school and I was working an hour before school each day on a goat farm. Bleh. Feeding, watering, goat farm. and then then on the weekends mucking out and shit like that. Sweet, and so sweet, sweet, sweet I mean. Yeah, like I say, um, cause they, yeah, they basically sort of um, produced like lots of goat products, like you know, ice cream and lots nice. of goat's milk and all this sort of. Uh, the jazz by Zazzle. But um yeah, no, like I say it was yeah, it was good fun and obviously it was a nice family that sort of ran the place and Yeah, and like I say I've never really did had you, any um, completely out of job. Did you not want to sort of pursue it? No, it's not something I'd really want to like, do full time because I mean it was like it was quite a small place, don't get me wrong. But yeah, it was like I say it was um it, it, it sort of you know, got me pocket money basically, but yeah, I've never really had any, never really had any weird jobs that I, not that I can think of. Yeah, the strangest thing I think I've ever done is I was a Kirby cleaner salesman briefly. I thought you were going to say a Kirby crawler for a second. <laughs> I was a Kirby crawler for very briefly until the police caught me. Uh, After your last story, the cleaner salesman. Um, mm. Yeah, well, it does make you wonder, doesn't it? Some some people mm. you never can tell. Mm. Um, yeah. Unless, of course, they've got you know. And there's sometimes you can two two yeah. found ISDN lines coming into their home for no particular reason. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Um. Yeah, no, I, what, I, what I did is I came out of college and I was working in retail at the time. I was basically doing my Saturday job, but I was doing it, you know, six days a week. And um, Wow, six Saturdays a week, that's a lot of Saturdays. Six Saturdays a week, it was, it was knackering. Yeah. Um, but um, I ended up getting a job doing what I was trained for, which was doing IT, doing mm. doing, doing it. Um, programming, doing programming it. at the time, do, doing it. Lord. Back um, that again. Yeah, absolutely. Mike, it's a deal. It's a, it's a canoe down my trousers, or in this case, a fishing boat. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, basically. I got a loan so I could get a car so I could get to work mm. and then a month later they immediately made me redundant oh nice and this was one of the jobs that came up 
and I gave it a go sort of along the way while I was waiting to find myself another job mm. and I, I was I was holding on for one of two jobs it was either going to be an IT job or if the IT jobs didn't pan out because believe me I went to lots of fucking interviews it was ridiculous mm. the IT the IT market is saturated um, yeah just all those, all those sweaty folk yeah 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 exactly <laughs> um, but the, but um, my other choice was I was going to be a copper mm. and but the Kirby cleaner what I used to do is I used to book demonstrations with my friends and one of the senior guys would come along and watch and see what I was doing how I was doing it how the sale was he doing likes to watch how you do it what sorry and then and then my friends used to pay me 20 or 30 quid for cleaning their carpets because I had all the shit there to do it and um, you know I'd, I'd sit there and have a cup of tea with them afterwards and like the other guy would fuck off and then I'd clean, clean their carpets using all of the Kirby cleaner gear <laughs> clean the carpets and have a cigarette afterwards yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry what I don't know it's perfectly clean, machine, clean sorry I don't know what you're talking about those... Yeah, wash those curtains on a hot wash. Ah, um, <laughs> we're really, we're really going off piece here. <laughs> at least we're not pieced um, off. Yeah, yeah. At least we're not pieced off. Yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, I was the reason why I stopped doing it is because one of the sort of the guys that was there that drove like an old BMW and you know he was like in like really sort of overly ostentatious suits and all the rest of it he was like well the um there was a mattress cleaner attachment and they basically they wanted me to say that dust mites on um child mattresses was a leading contributor to cot death oh lovely and at, at that point i basically went nah fuck off not a chance. I'm not doing that. Mm. I've got some standards. I'm already bleeding prostituting myself, you know, trying to bleed to sell vacuum cleaners. Mm. And then you want me to lie to people. No. Yeah. Don't want to do it. Not going to do it. It was a very, very strange time. Yeah. So there weren't quite the regulations for what you can and can't say in advertising tour back then. Because they really well, have clamped down in recent years. But, you know. Well, I remember when I first heard it, first heard like the sales pitch for it, I thought, that ain't right. And on that sort of first day, they, they said to people, right, this is, this is what we're doing, this is what we'll be selling. If you're not interested, you can walk out here, walk out now, no problem. And I nearly stood up and walked out, and I kind of wish I did, because mm. they were real... Bags. Go in, into the uh, you go into the office in the morning, and like they go, what are you gonna do? Sell? What are you gonna do? Sell? Yeah. Well, you get, them get them screaming, sell, sell. I sell. I hate that sort of environment. I really do. I just fucking hate it. Oh. I mean, um, yeah, it's just so. so it was so false, for one thing, because everybody was like, hey, buddy, yay, hey, how you doing, fella, yay. Where they would like, you know, quite happily, you know, garrot you with the cable of your Kirby cleaner if they could get an extra clean. Your, your, your Kirby cable, yeah. My Kirby cleaner, yeah. The Kirby cable. The Kirby cleaner cable, mate. Kirby, 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 Kirby. Your Kirby, 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 Kirby. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's really stubborn down here. Do I have any metal cleaner? No. However. I did discover mm. glass cleaner works almost as well. Well, if you look at some of the actual su substances, under here it says barnacle shells and algae, whatever. It does usually tell you that. Um, actually, no, it just says metal, doesn't it? So yeah, I was looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, sometimes it will tell you that multiple things could actually sort of be multiple multiply, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. 
I, I don't know if, if it necessarily does or if it's just like you know made to make you think it does. Who, who can tell really? Made to think you're getting further. Yeah. Right. We're, we're getting to that point. We're getting, we're getting to, the, to that point. To the watch this phase. Right. Oh no. TV series. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I thought you were going to throw yourself off the top of the boat again. I, I can do that in a minute, um, as a as a you know, grand finale. Um, yeah. Any, anybody that's after the acrobatic lunacy, please hang on to the end of this bit. The soft dangly collection of things, yes, yeah. Um, <laughs> Black Adam. Um, yeah, uh, TV series. Comedy. Yes. Comedy. Yes. Series three, I think it was, has just finished. It's either series two or series three. Actually, no, series two just finished. There's not going to be a new series. It's uh, it's going to be at the end, I believe. For uh, I don't think it's going to be like um, a continuation. I think it's been cancelled or at least not continued, I should say. But TV series absolutely had me... Fucking, I, mean, I loved the first series, and then the second series came just recently on Now TV in the UK. Um, Avenue Five. Oh yeah. Not okay. much of a not much of a title. You, you think Avenue Five? Like, well, that sounds completely uninspiring. Um, Hugh Laurie. Yes. And I'm aware of series. It's and got. It's always one of those things. I thought, oh, that looks quite good. It really is. It really is. It's just fucking hilarious. It's just idiots surrounded by more idiots, really, and you know, like, and showing the actual idiocy of you know the herd mentality of idiots when bad news is suddenly on the cards and shit like that. But it's it's so fucking funny. It really is. It's um for anyone who doesn't know, basically. It's a space liner, similar to like Titanic, but obviously in space, called Avenue 5. Presumably there were four more before it. I can't really remember the, uh, the, the full first series and full history of it. But um, they're run by a company called Judd Enterprises, and Mr. Judd is um, actually on board this, this ship as they're sort of uh, on this, this, this voyage. I can't remember exactly what happens, but the ship gets knocked off course, or at least you know it's unable to like you know, complete its normal normal circuit. And um, basically, this this couple of month pleasure cruise becomes like a five year voyage, and it's like oh shit, you know, we haven't we're not kitted out for this sort of shit. We haven't got enough resources and everything like that. Um, what the fuck do we do? Um, and um, the crew obviously are aware of this, but they're trying to keep it a secret from the masses as best they can, for as long as they can. Um, oh what, my the God, fact that they're lost? The fact, or that, the fact that they're running out of resources? The fact that they're running out of. Well, the fact that, you know, the fact that obviously initially they're so reluctant to say, look, you know, we're going to say we're taking like a couple of years longer to get back than we were planning or whatever. Um, uh, and then it's like, yeah, they find out. Like I say, they, they just keep finding out more and more information and it's like the situation keeps getting worse and worse and worse and every time basically they feed out a bit of information it's like okay look we're going to level you we'll tell you this something else changes and it fucking contradicts that it's just oh it's just it's a proper disaster fucking movie but two seasons of that fucking brilliant it's just so good so funny okay Hugh, I mean Hugh Laurie is fucking on form. I mean he's he's always good in anything he's he's in. I think, but such a fucking good series. Um, okay, in that case, I will uh, I will throw a contender into the ring. Now they they I'm do that a couple of times as well. Yeah, probably. Yeah, a new contender in the ring. Tra la 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 la. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've got that. Um, for me, there, there have been. It's not comedy. It's a, it's a 
modern sci-fi. Well, it's it's sci-fi. It's fantasy. Um, is it real life? Is it just fantasy? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Caught in a landslide. Um, yeah. Well, there's, there's no escape from reality for any of us. Hey, that's looking. That's not looking bad. I'm going to sort of head up here. There. I'm going to head up here because there's a uh, bit of filth along here. There's a tiny bit of filth along here, Dennis! I say, peasant. Camelot. Anyway. So, yeah. Anyway. Right, this is a. Um, it's a fantasy series, and it, uh, the first series was on the premise that uh, half of a family gets on a plane and flies from, uh, they're all on holiday in Florida, and they fly from Florida back to Chicago, I think it is. Right. And... Two of them, and the mum and the daughter, end up getting on an earlier flight because they get sort of, they can get an upgrade and they can get home earlier. Mm. So they go home on an earlier flight. Now the normal flight they're supposed to be on, the um, um, the dad and the is that right? Is it the dad and uh, and the younger son? Uh, dad, dad and the son. They get on the normal flight, mm. and it's exactly the same flight time, but they turn up seven years later. Right, okay. The the um, the flight, you know, actually disappeared, and then all of a sudden, I think you know, so many years this is later, what I, this is what I'm thinking of. It's called Manifest. Oh no, it's not that one. I can't remember what I was trying to think of, but it was some weird name. Where a bunch of people disappeared or something like that. I, I can't remember. I've, yeah, not, I've not really watched disappeared, it. Disappeared. Yeah. They reappeared, and uh, they reappeared with superpowers. Clipper. I don't mean like you know flying around with their pants on the outside of their tights. Superpowers. Mm. You know, not like that. I mean, you, you know, have to have superpowers to be able to do that. Super, super oh, dry yeah, cleaning, say, super dry cleaning powers. Oh god. Anyway, um, yeah. three series were done by was it HBO? The first three were done by HBO, and the last one has been done by Netflix. Mm. So the so all three series and the fourth one are available on Netflix now. I've not watched the fourth one. Mm. But I can tell you, series one to three had me riveted. Absolutely riveted from the word go. Nice. Hopefully you'll have a similar sort of thing with Heroes, because like I say Heroes, like I say, it's really fucking gripping. Um, I'm, I'm introducing Shell to that as well. We've, we've so sort of got on to like disc three, I think it is, so far. Well, um, I've seen it through a few times myself. Yeah, well, you know. I'm, I'm like that with aliens, what can I say? Mm. Yeah. Did you know? Did you know? Uh, aliens, random knowledge. I didn't know any aliens, no. The, Not that I'm no, aware of. Know any aliens. No, no the, uh, the film Aliens, the follow up to the film mm. Alien, originally. Yeah. The part of Corporal Hicks, played by Michael Biehn, was actually going to be played by somebody called, I think it's Ray Amal, I think. He was in Warriors, and he was in a few other sort of really big movies. Um, I thought you were going to say a different name, because I'm sure I'd had a different name type band around for that as well, but okay. Well, yeah. I, I, I might have the name wrong, but um, basically what happened, he was uh, called in possession of some illegal substances so they literally um they it wasn't it wasn't like a face hugger was it no 
sure it wasn't bad. No, uh, I'm, you know. Was was, you know illegal in, aliens. In crystalline form. Yeah, exactly. Bloody things coming up over here, taking over our life forms. Um, uh -huh. But there's a bit, they, right, they'd already shot part of the movie with this guy's hips, okay? And it was actually part of the nest scene, mm. where they go into the atmosphere generator. Um, but if you, um, if you watch it very carefully, as they're getting out of the APC, and you, yes, if you watch as they're getting out of the APC, you can hear Michael Biehn's voice. But the back of his head, it's actually the other actor. Right, okay. Because, because the scene was so expensive to set up, uh, they couldn't refilm it. So they basically just used the piece with the previous actor in it, but they didn't show his face. But Michael Beard literally got a phone call from his agent saying, uh, have you got a passport? Yeah, okay, get on a plane to England now. Yeah, get over here. <laughs> I've heard rumours, I'm not sure if it's 100% true, I'm, I'm sure I've heard rumours that um, Back to the Future, there are scenes yes, which actually, was. there are scenes which actually aren't Michael J. Fox, they are, um, that's correct. what's his name, yeah. Yes, I can't remember his name. Yeah, I can I'm see like his face. going around my head, but it's, it's not really. really. It's a, he was. It was in Pulp Fiction as well. <laughs> or yeah, if she was uh, actually, he was in Pulp Fiction. He wasn't actually in Back to the Future. Um, um, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but um, yeah, like I said, the, the, I've heard. I've heard. Obviously, there are some scenes which he actually still does appear uh, in in brief in the uh, in the films. And then, of course, there's the controversy with um, Back to the Future Two. Where they couldn't get the dad to return, so they hired Eric someone. Stoltz. Eric Stoltz, yeah, yeah. But in in the sequel, where they um couldn't get the dad to return, so they hired someone that looked almost and made him look exactly the same as him. And uh, really, yeah, because he wouldn't return for the sequel. So the guy that plays his dad in the sequel in the future and shit like that is actually a different actor. But um, uh. They actually got sued, or the, the the guy who did the original role sued because it's like, look, you're trying to steal my appearance, you're trying to like impersonate me, as you know this this character. He's like, I, I didn't agree to this. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know if he actually I can't remember if he actually won. I can't remember exactly how it went, but yeah, it's like you know I can understand that. Yeah, but they basically just recast him as as um with, with another actor. And hope that no one okay. and hope that no one would notice. Did they notice? Well, they clearly, someone did. Because otherwise, we wouldn't know about it because nobody would have noticed. Yeah. And if nobody notices, uh, how can anyone know? Hey, 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 hey. Cabin, cabal. Cabin, cabal. Stop on, stop on. Stop on, stop on. Oh, you probably don't know that reference. Uh, I... It was a very, very, very bad 80s movie called Party Party. And it was the. The UK tried to do the equivalent of the frat party movie. Jesus. And the it had Carl Hellman in it, if you remember Jacko. Yeah, Jacko. Jacko. Here's Jacko! I remember him in the comic relief special. It's like, fucking hell. Here's Elmo, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it had 
the Jacko, and it also had Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. You know, yeah. the little guy, Bull, who's there for comedic, re comedic relief. It's not because he's so short, short it's because he's so long. Do you remember? Yes, yeah, he was in, um... Shit, was he in Only Force and Horses? Yeah, I'm trying to remember what he's been in. Stuff. He's been in lots of stuff, but yeah, I'm trying to remember other stuff that he's been in. It was like, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. I know who you mean. Yeah, well, it's him. Um, basically, um, Carl Howman was the uh, the one who used to get all of the like, the really, really pretty ladies. Mm. All the single um, ladies? Um, all the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think he was worried if there was single. I, I think you got a little bit typecast in that role, didn't you? Yeah, just a little bit. Um, but Carl Howman said to him, oh, "You want to impress? What, what, uh, you you, you got to get into the into the part, okay? Particularly for the period. You want to impress the birds? Yeah." He says, "Well, you, you, you know, bottle of beer, yeah." Oh yeah. And he says, "He, he says, right, well, you, you take the top off." Then you put the top back on again, and then he and then he, he goes watch this, and he bites like the loose lid off the top of the bottle, mm. and spits it to one side, and it's like the birds they love it. And um, this other guy is walking around the party, going top on, top off, and all the bleeding women are going, you dirty old bastard. <laughs> and he's walking around going top on, top off, and they go, it's not what it looks like, is it now? Really? Okay, what is it? He shows you, I'll show you. And he bites the bottle and he bites the wrong one and um, loses three teeth. Lovely. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah, that's the top on, top off uh, reference. Right, okay. Now I'd we know. I recommend the movie, it's really, really crap. I can't even remember the name of it, so it's fine. Party party. Not 24 hour party so you've people forgotten, then. You've forgotten already, haven't you? Yeah, not 24 hour party people. Right, now by popular request, watch this! Way! Oh. <laughs> and he's fine, he walks away from it. Um, what I next, liked sir? Your, um, um, I liked your Star Wars colouring in earlier. I thought it was rather good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can't remember where I picked that up from. It's like one of the Facebook pages online, but it's like a, it's, it's all done by the way. Um, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, this room is clean, but yeah, like I say, it's like it's um, oh, I can't remember his own name now. It was so forgettable that the name is like villain from the new one. A pair of stormtroopers and um, yeah, bloke. Stormtroopers and Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. I was like, right, I've coloured in the lightsaber. <laughs> That's it, That's done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're we're watching the UFO. Mm-hmm. Yep. See I wanted to see your reaction to that. <laughs> yeah. What the actual fuck? <laughs> <laughs> or wash the actual fuck, I suppose. Mm-hmm. If there aren't little green dudes in the top of this, I'll be very upset. Dudes. Are you reading all the captions as well? I am, but they're not coming up at the moment. Oh, dear. There's none of them. It hasn't gone. What the actual fuck? An omnidirectional something or other is now clean, apparently. Mm hmm. Yes. The omnidirectional so something, gripper. Something can now go in different directions. Very flexible. And the viewport dome is clean. That's my first ding. 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 We is need that, a sound effect for that, don't we? Is that you sound something around? First ding. Well, I am on the top of the saucer. Saucer? I'm on top of the saucy saucer. It fucking loves it. Anyway. Yeah. 
Now, I do believe it's today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Sorry, getting back onto games based things just for a minute. Whoa. Um, yeah, yeah. It's t today or tomorrow where the CMA, who are the British. Oh, right, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen this article, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, they're the British um, sort of monopolies, not monopolies and mergers commission. It's to do with fair trade and um, basically keep trying to keep an op as open a market as possible. Mm. Um, and this is to do with the Xbox, Activision, Activision Blizzard Ping acquisition for the paltry sum of uh, 69 billion dollars. One billion dollars. The thing is, Sony did say, well we'd like the opportunity to, like, to try and, you know, try and bid for something like that. You haven't got that much money. Yeah. You could scrape down the back of the sofa and rub the piggy bank as much as you want, but you cannot generate that kind of income. That kind of you haven't got that cash. Cash converters are not going to be able to help you. They'll only take so many PS5s in. You know? Depends what they have cash convert. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've got the 14th version of the last of it. Yeah. Yeah, you should. Go on, off you go. Go play the track. Um, See, I I never really. I mean, I've got the last of us on the PS4. Kath played quite a bit of it. I just, I just got. I, just, I found it really boring. I, I just didn't really yeah. like. It. I just didn't really take off on it. Actually, people who love it, fine. You love it. It's cool. Good. Enjoy it. You know, be happy. I just. Yeah. I see all this stuff about. It's like, oh, Xbox has got no exclusives. It's like, well, I've picked up several of the PlayStation exclusives. They're not games that I'm really that interested in. Yeah. As someone who owns, as someone who owns both consoles, you know what I mean? From someone who's actually yeah. owns both. I see Spider-Man. Don't get me wrong, Spider-Man, fucking amazing. Love that game. I've played loads of Spider-Man on there. But did what you, else? Did you have a PS5? No, not a PS5. A PS4 Pro. I've got. Because I, I actually I've seen a um, uh, CEX, everybody's favourite second-hand uh, game store. Mm. Um, I saw. A really, really nice God of War PS4 Pro, mm. and it's it's been done out with all of the rooms and stuff around it, and like uh, those sort of those nice sort of um, Celtic tribal sort of designs and stuff all over. Mm. Really, really nice, um, and it's not expensive. It was two hundred quid. And it was sit had been sitting in the window for about four months, and nobody had bought it. Yeah. I think that's probably my that's my cue. I think. I do need a PS4 because otherwise, how am I going to be able to properly ridicule them if I don't play their game? I see. I, I didn't buy it to ridicule them. I just bought it because actually everyone was like, everyone was like, um, oh, these games are fucking amazing. These games are amazing. Blah blah blah. I mean. I mean, don't get me wrong, I say, I, 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 yeah. people who enjoy them, like I say, fine, enjoy them, I'm glad you enjoy them, but for me, like I say, there's, there's no point in me really investing in PlayStation, because they've got these franchises, like the franchises, I mean, God of War one, um, have I got God of War, I can't remember, I bought a bunch of them when they were like, you know, on a, on a sale, and some of them I've not even touched, God you know what I mean? Sensational. I, mm. I, I, I am an Xbox It looks really, it looks really slow and clunky to me, but that's the oh, thing. Oh no, you're dealing, you're dealing with um, absolutes within within Gosh. the first half hour of the film. Um, he's trying to act like a normal human, mm. but he's a god, basically. Yeah, I've got that. And there's one, yeah, there's one particular bit where somebody turns up and basically wants a fight. 
and I've seen this on on Johnny Chiodini when he was streaming the series. Yeah. And they start yeah. smashing each other into fucking rock and all sorts of shit like that. It's like, yeah. Even yeah. so, like I say, even having seen that, it's like psh, still underwhelmed. It's, if it's not for you, it's yeah. not for you. Yeah, yeah. All I can say is from my experience of it, I've got it on PC. I've been playing it on PC. Um, I think it's bloody sensational. Yeah. The actual oh. game is incredible. Mm. Um, and for me, what's the major difference? Well, I'll ask you the question first and see if you've come to the same, same conclusion as me. What is the major difference between um, customer customer focus for the for the Microsoft and for the Sony console? So what what was the question? What's the major? Okay, so why do people think PlayStation is the best thing ever, and only those that know the Xbox are the are they're the ones that kind of play it and love it? Well, the thing is, with with PlayStation, people seem to love PlayStation because they've got games that are exclusive to them, and that seems to be purely it. Because so, I can't see, I can't see what else is that much of a draw. I say you've got games yeah. on there. If you like those games, fine. You won't get them on Xbox. Be on PlayStation. That's entirely up to you. But yep. with Xbox, you've got fucking game passes. This is, I mean, fucking hell. It's there's, there's so much. I mean, there's so many games. It's like I'll never get a chance to play all of these fucking games because I've never got enough time to play all this sort of stuff. I love this game, and this game is taking up so much of my time because it's just so much fun. It's just so relaxing. It's, just, it's, it's weird how your priorities change. Obviously, as you get older, where it's like when you're a kid, it's like oh, I'm gonna get this fucking fast-paced game where it's like oh, smash, 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 bloom, and it's like no, I just want to slow down now. <laughs> hmm. Well, there is. Uh, I mean, in terms of exclusives, we've got Forza Motorsport. We've got um, yeah, but with Forza the, Motorsport, it's probably Halo been series. it's been what PS4? five years since the last Forza Motorsport actually came out. Something like that. They've had two Forza Horizons yeah, in the meantime. It's, it's due out this year. It's yeah, this but year. like I say, what I'm saying is that it's been a while since you've got you had anything. The first on proper next gen version. Um, but um, I'll answer my own question and then see if you agree. The reason why everybody seems to go towards Sony is because of their advertising campaigns. It's because they've got something. Yeah, actually, I, I've obviously missed those. Or, or not what, you've paid missed attention. Sony's advertising campaign. Or, or just not paid attention. Or not really cared. Or not really cared and just like tuned out. I suppose, yeah, yeah, possibly. Yeah, there is that. There is that. But, I find um, it amusing when I'm watching when I'm watching like an Xbox channel, and um, yeah, PlayStation ever comes up. It's like really because they pay, yeah because yeah. Sony pay for it. Yeah, yeah. Every time there's you know everything there's one of those you want they want one of theirs to be um, in the middle of what you're talking about. You know. I just find it annoying when they do that shit though. It's like. If I if yeah. I wanted to like see PlayStation adverts, I'd be watching a video about PlayStation. <laughs> yep. If you'd done anything that was interesting me, I would I would have been there, finding out about it. No, it's not. Have you uh, seen anything on on the old news feeds today about a game called Unrecord? No. Right. Okay. What it is. It is. It's a first-person shooter. Don't go to sleep yet. <laughs> it's a first-person shooter done um, in the in the style of like an action cam or um, a chest cam, something like that. Right. And okay. You, you, you know, when he when he leans, he actually leans round corners and pops back in. And to say, <laughs> this I'm glad he just didn't say he pops out. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh god, that's usually my job. Come on, I'm usually the one that comes up with a double entendre. There <laughs> if you want a double entendre, just it? ask and I'll give you one. It's not a problem. <laughs> it's a triple entendre now. Yeah. Um. Anyway. 
it's been uh, it's been been done in Unreal Engine 5 and to say that Uncanny Valley doesn't really oh is that the one that Jack Frax has released a video about yeah he went absolutely mental I saw that. a video title and it said like this is like a real world graphics or something is that the one yes right yes, okay so that's, that's, that's I didn't know the name of the game I just obviously saw the, the, the thing flash up and haven't clicked on the video yet it is oh, uh, I recommend and anybody that's listening actually inform yourselves go and have a look at Unrecord the main reason I say go and look at it not yet because not yet because you're, you're watching not, us not, well, well obviously when, when we finish <laughs> when, when, you know, when you finish when we finish go and have a look oh, at the videos finish. for Unrecord and that's going to be the quality of more and more games that are going to be coming out of software well, houses that, that Matrix games. demo that they released yeah I got really pissed off with that though because while it looked absolutely fucking amazing and, and and you know real life graphics and all that sort of shit, it just kept crashing on mine. And it's like you know I got to the bit where obviously you know, like, you know, it's like approaching like the motorway or whatever, and I couldn't get past that bit because the fucking poor fucking little, little demo just kept fucking going and booting me back to desktop. Now that's really strange because I didn't have any of those problems at all. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if because if you remember when I when I bought F1 2021 was it? It was 2020 or 2021, and that game kept crashing my console so much, and I saw a lot of posts online of other people having the same problem where it kept crashing their consoles. I do worry that that's knackered part of my drive potentially. I, I, so. I don't know if it could do or if it would do, but since that, and of course it kept crashing, kept hard buzz crashing my console and switching it off to the point where the um, the controller wouldn't actually restart it. I had to go to the console to turn it back on because it wouldn't recognize any input from the controller. You know initially. what that is, don't you? What? That's overheating. But it was only doing it on that one game. It was yeah. only ever doing it on that one game. Yeah, yeah. There was a game out a little while ago on PC. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. It was like an RTS type thing. But what it was, what all games do is they usually have an option to unlock the frame rate or they have an option to fix the frame rate at a particular mm. count like 60 or 120 whatever depending yeah. on the monitor that you're using well for the the title screen which uh, when you leave a game on the title screen it usually goes into something called attract mode so that's when somebody puts it on a console in a shop and it will sit and run in this loop making everybody stand there and watch it mm. but the problem was the attract loop had no fps boundary on it and it was running upwards on on the really big graphics cards it was running upwards of like 500 frames a second yikes and what it was doing it was cooking their graphics cards mm -hmm. it was actually balking them as in you know return to minute manufacturer do not collect 200 pounds mm. you know yeah um, what, what you're describing there, uh, and it sounds awfully like a heat problem, mate. Yeah, yeah. But ever you know, since I've then, in IT long enough to ever since then, a heat problem, like I say, um, I've had a couple of games that have done it, and obviously that Matrix one was one where it would again, like I say, you know, just and do a very similar thing. So I'm obviously very reluctant to actually like, completely fill up my internal hard drive at any given point. In case that's what's really buzzing it over. No, it's not that. It's not that. Um, in terms of the fact, because you're because it's got that solid state storage built in, and it's uh, the RAM kind of inter uh, interfaces yeah. with it interfaces with the disk directly. Um, so that's why you can get like stupidly fast um, transfer speeds. Mm. 
Um, in the past, when we when we used to work on PCs, you know, you never used to do it. You never used to turn it off while the disc was running, did you? No. Because obviously you could end up with heads like bouncing. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And toes, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. You, you could end up with like you know head bounce and all sorts of horrible problems. Sun state drives that doesn't happen. They they work on a completely different system. You are not, that's the reason why you don't defrag a solid state drive. Mm. When, when um, okay, time for time for an, uh, an information technology history lesson for the benefit of all the kiddies out there. Back when mechanical drives were starting to get a little bit bigger and starting to um, carry more and more important data, what would happen sometimes is the drive would crash in the middle of doing a disk write, for example. And data, when it's stored on a standard mechanical disk, is stored, the best way to describe it is like a daisy chain. You have the head of the daisy, and you have a tail that points to the next block of data. So each daisy is a block of data, and the tail is the pointer going to where the next bit is. So you can have this really, really big file stored in all different areas of the disk because that's where it found empty space when it rewrote the file yeah and that's the reason why when you used to have power out it was all because it's because the, the the head was constantly going backwards and forwards all the time trying to find different parts of these files but that problem does not occur with solid state yeah thank you thank you for listening can i just be the first to say <coughs> So, yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you tell I've done that talk before? Yes, I can, because you did it really fast. <laughs> <laughs> I know when I've talked to stupid people and had to explain things time and time again, I get faster and faster and faster and faster and fucking faster! Yeah. <laughs> but, but you're not a stupid person. There's the difference. Stupid, stupid. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you for that, Tony. <laughs> You are not a stupid person by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, we have all worked in uh, places where the uh, the stupid like to gather, copulate, and then spread their evil seed among the rest. They guire and gimbal. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Guire and gimbal in the wave. Yes. See, I got the reference. It was brilliant. Okay. It was brilliant. It, <laughs> it was brilliant. Was and the slimy tools did gather and gamble. <laughs> Brilliant. Head. Uh... Now we've got all the crooks and nannies. Well, I think we have. We're certainly getting there. I bet I know where one of these panel. crooks. The problem is also is that the sun is reflecting yep, of yep. the bits we've already cleaned. Yep. These fucking vents are always a shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the little crooks down there. The anti gravity panel is clean. But you can't tell, can you, if that bit is. It might be a bit genuine, further around, but uh... genuine, genuine filth. Oh, it's genuine filth. Old fashioned filth. Yeah, like it's, it's not none good of the second hand sort old, of good old, janky Yeah, filth. you know, we're talking full on razzle, you know? Razzle, dazzle. Did that actually ping? It didn't, did it? Like that. Where's the hyperwarp drive? Um, Is the thing underneath? Possibly. Actually, yeah. I, I think I've cleaned all the stuff underneath, I think, but I could be wrong. 
Well, the hyperwarp hyper warp en engine is at 97 percent. I'm currently looking for glowy things. Yeah, aren't we all? Ah, okay, this slot round here doesn't appear to be necessarily clean. Oh, well, it's got a three for there. Three for the price of one. You've got, you got a three for, awesome. Yeah. Aren't they the people that like run football? Yes. What? Yes, they are, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Ah, okay, it's this little darling here. Oh, that's the hyper, that's not the hyper warp engine. It is glowing, but it might be the hyper warp engine, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really familiar with the mechanicals of spacecraft, if I'm honest. Oh, you're not? I thought you were an IT no, expert. No. Oh, fuck's sake. We brought you along because you fucking thought you knew what you were talking about. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. You had one job and you fucked I'm it. A bike. Yeah, that's my job. My job is to fuck it. That's 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 mm -hmm. my that's my sole job. Giggity giggity. Well, I can't see anything else glowing on there. I'm sure a man of your experience. There we go. Uh, now the hyper propulsion drive. I'm looking for the hyper I've just done that one, I think. Just done Have that you? one. Yeah. It was uh, this yeah, bit. It was this bit just down off the off the edge here. Purple glowy thing. The posi the positrine flow nacelles. All my nacelles. Well, I was just looking at glowy bits because I'm wondering, you know, nacelles glow on the Enterprise. I wonder if it's the same on here. Ah, I think that might be it, right next to the um, uh, the hypo. It's this bit that I'm washing at the moment. Glowy thingy. I think possibly. Well, no, I, it's here because it's glowing. Okay, you got it. Okay. Well, I'm cleaning something else then. There. There we are. Nacelle clean. Omnidirectional landing hinges. Only one. Left to do. That'll be the legs, surely. That's the legs, yes it is, and that's clean. The royal leg. Uh, landing sockets. That could be good way. That one there. The main gyromagnetic discs. The main one. Ah. Main gyromagnetic disc is clean. I got one of the Device tri range. tritalium saucer lower rim. <laughs> Rim. Yeah, you got the lower no, rim. Right, that's there. done. Polarized saucer plating. I say saucer. <laughs> very, it very, it's very saucer. Power blade, power blade saucer. You got it. Well, it says. It's this little bit here. Well, okay. It's a bit on the outer bit. It's just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Let the power of the trident clean you. Clean you, I say. I've been watching Ulysses a couple of times in the last few weeks. Hey!
Ich weiß was. Uh, you're safe. Where do we send the invoice? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that's a very silly one. Oh, got, uh, okay, clean. Or well, the next one is clean the lost city palace, which is two thousand two hundred dollars. So that's quite a long one. We can start it if you so, want, because like I say, it takes a while. But it's up to you. Well, it's twenty past nine, and my wife's going to be home soon. Yeah. Okay. That's so cool. I think at that point it's probably a good point. A good point for me to duck out. You're you're more than welcome to spray your your worldly goods. After, I beg your pardon. I'm Rick Mail. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow! I, I've heard of getting wood. I've never heard of getting metal before. <laughs> yeah. No, I was, I was just you know going on your uh, your Rick Mail story from earlier. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. It is very true. It's wet on you. Very true. It's wet on you. Yeah, I've I've got wet on me. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you for that. That's been very silly. Again, once again, again, once. We, once. En we enjoy being silly. It's part of our job. Yes, it is. Yeah. But yeah, that's been I'll good fun. I want you to finish the stream before I kill the game. Okay. So but it does look like you're holding some sort of ray gun at me there. Does really, it? really does look like some sort of ray gun you got there. <laughs> Take me to your dealer. You will be cleaned three ways. <laughs> yeah, you need to have like a green suit for a little green man. Hmm. That is not a bad call. Clothing. Um, green gloves. And green fingers. Green suit. And you need to equip it as well once you purchased it. Ah, uh, yes. Um, mm -mm. Where do you do that? In the little Windows options? button where you. The little, it's like um, the two Windows button. And there's a clothing uh, tab. Yes, clothing, clothing tab, yes. I've got you. There's me in my good. gimp suit. Lovely. Wow, that's, uh, that is and green. That is. I mean, that, that is green. That is so green. Do you want to do, you want, do, you want, do you want to do a screenshot? Uh, there's one done there. Ooh, I'll, I'll, I'll take a screenshot yeah. from over here because it looks. Stay, stay where you are. Stay where you are. Don't, don't turn. Look at the moons. Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> that was entirely the wrong button. <laughs> screenshot. There and we do you are. know what? While, you, while, while I was waiting for you to do that, I was actually holding my breath. <laughs> Don't move. <gasps> <laughs> oh dear. Exceedingly silly. Yeah, that's now, been good, good fun. The good Mrs. Angel has come home, so at this point I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you everybody who joined the stream. Yeah. And um, we will be back to our normal um, our normal Power Wash podcast next week. Yeah. But in the meantime, I'm um, going to go and eat some fudge. And on that bombshell, and on that bombshell, good night, Tony, and good night, good night, viewers.